Hey, it's Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a picture using your Chromebook. So it's got a front-facing camera. Some newer versions of Chromebooks have multiple cameras, which are a little different. Um, but on this one, I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. You click on the left um, bottom corner, there's this little white dot. It's called a launcher there. And so from there, you might have the auto option where a camera pops up. You can just click camera. If it doesn't, immediately you can just search for camera right there and it's installed on your Chromebook. So press camera. Okay, so once you've got the camera open, you've got a few options in the menu here. There's a timer. You can click 3 seconds, 10 seconds, or no timer at all. And then you can click either video or photo. And then there's this white button on the side. You just press that white button. This is an Acer version. There's also HP, Chromebooks, different ones. So they might be a little bit different on the interface, but this is the Acer one. So you click take a photo. All right, there you go. It took a picture. It actually took three seconds. I thought the timer was off. Oh, it was on three seconds. So if I have the thing off and I click the button, It'll just take a picture like that right away. And then a couple other things they have here. There's this little grid here. And then if you want to see the ratio, like if you want a 3x3 three three photo, it'll show you the lines on there. 4x4 four four golden ratio. That's interesting. So the golden ratio, you're going to want to have like your eyes up at one of these top corners. It's just an interesting uh, artistic effect there. Uh, there's a mirror preview. Um, so this one you can flip the thing, like a mirror, however you want. Um, and then up here on the top right, you can just zoom in and take a picture of a certain spot. So if you just want a close-up of your face, zoom in. There, took a close-up right of my eyes. Um, likewise on video, if you click over there, there are some different options. You can do a GIF, which is kind of cool. So I'll show you how that works. You click GIF. You click this and then do a little movement and it looks like it's got a timer. It's like five seconds. So it's a five second GIF and then it's processing that image. Look, there you go. You got a cool animated GIF right there on the camera. Um, so I'm going to click save on that and then I'll show you where you can access your photos. So if I exit out of that, um, I go back to the finder, the little white dot here, and you're going to go for files. So click files, and all the Chromebooks have a built-in file on there. And then you can see on the left it says camera. So I click camera, um, I can see the GIF would be right up top. Click on that. Looks, yeah, there I am. Look, I'm in a GIF. And you can share this, um, so you can copy it, you can just share etc. You can edit it, annotate, you know, you can put things on here. Lots of cool options built right into the Chromebook. You know, draw whatever you want. That's not a great example, but those are a few of the things you can do. If you want to transfer pictures or other files from your Chromebook to your iPhone, um, you can plug in a USB in your phone and there is the option of doing that. You can transfer files. Um, you can also just share them, upload them to Google Photos. You can have them on your device here, on your Android device, if they're on Google Photos or whatever device you're using with Google Photos. Um, so that was how to use the camera on a Chromebook. You can do video, photo, GIFs, you know, all sorts of things. It's built right in. Pretty easy to use. It's fun. It's easy to share. Highly recommend it. Hope this video was helpful for you. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you again soon.